Updating the press on their current response with regards to planned demonstrations by a group calling itself Concerned Sierra Leoneans, the head of the Criminal Investigation Department, Superintendent Gabriel Tommy, says the post calling for the demonstrations that are circulating on social media contain threats about burning of state house, financial institutions, embassies and killing of police officers who be on the streets. These are people who say they are acting alone. And I would just expect them to say that. However, our investigation is still continuing. Try to isolate their connections and their contacts. We are still on it. And we may pick up more people. We are only concerned about the manner that the demonstration may take. Because as it is, we really smell some unfortunate incidents occurring in case. He added that the suspects arrested so far are not linked to any political party, but a group of individuals who do not mean well for the nation. Speaking on government's position on the issue, Imran Sila from the Strategic Unit of the Ministry of Information says government takes the issue with all seriousness and would not relent in ensuring that the country is peaceful and stable. And that's why I'm here today to continue to reassure the people of this country that this country is safe. Uh, people should go about their normal business, not only on Thursday, but on Friday, Saturday and Sunday and, 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 and the days after. And uh, we, we have a responsibility and a commitment. We need to follow the law and follow due process. Right? There's no harm. It doesn't necessarily mean that because I was at some point not in agreement with positions that uh, the police, as an entity too, that means I lost total faith and confidence in them. No. Everywhere in the world, the police are never in the good books of ordinary citizens. For one reason or the other. Eric Kawa, AYB News, Freetown.